Day is underway, but there's still time to find that special gift. Dallas Antiveros joins us from Watanabe Floro with an inside look. Hey, Dallas. Hey, Christine and Kelly, that's right. We're still here at Watanabe Floral celebrating Valentine's Day. And if you have been watching Wake Up Today, you will know that we are just showing you everything that Watanabe Floral has to offer, including these rose petals. And I mean, I was saying a little bit earlier, this is definitely for that person who either messed up or who is an extreme romantic or who is Cupid himself, like Michelle right here. What's up, Michelle? How's it going? Good morning. How are you doing, Daryl? Good, good. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. So first thing I want to get out of the way is your outfit right here. I mean, we look great together, number one, but you do this every year, right? For the past seven or eight years, yes. And seven or eight years. And what made you want to start this Cupid uh, outfit and this Valentine's Day giving from the first place? Basically, just a... a to bring joy and, and love and, and smile to all the ladies' uh, faces and hearts. It's a, it's a day of celebration for, of, of love. And uh, usually we just do it for, you know, to your girlfriend or to your wife or anything. Yeah. But it should be spread. The more the love is spread, the better it is. The more the merrier. That's right, the aloha spirit. And if you take a look right here, Michelle got 15 boxes of rose petals. And he was just telling me before we went on air right now that he plans to shower people with rose petals around the island right here. And you've done this before, but you have a specific route and where you're going to go to today. Yes, I have a list of about 15 places that I go. And uh, because I, I had not done a list before, and I forgot a couple of people one year, and it was not a, it was not a pleasant uh, experience for me to revisit them. But oh, I, no, they come after you, right? <laughs> That's right. Oh, my gosh. The vengeance, the vengeance of a woman. A lot of pressure for Cupid right here. <laughs> but you know what? If anyone is interested in finding you, can you give us a hint of where we could? Um, Any areas? Right now, I'm going to be going to the Mapuna Puna area. Okay. And uh, taking a lot of, uh, take care of a lot of people there. And then I'll be heading over to uh, Kaneohe to a, a place called Fresh Catch. Okay. Perfect. And, and it's people who need love for Valentine's Day, whatever it may be. But you know what? You were telling me also before we went on that you dressed up as Cupid one year, like a big diaper and everything. I try to change outfits every year. <laughs> and, That's awesome. I, and yes, I did go as as Cupid one year with Cupid. a with a sash and a and a, and a diaper. But uh, I've I've tried to clean up my act a little bit since yeah. then. Yeah, <laughs> we covered up for 2020, but you know what? We're in this new decade. Anything's possible, and there's really no limits when it comes to the love giving. So if you want to be like Michelle and go all out and get flowers or chocolates or stuffed animals, you could definitely get them here at Watanabe Floral. And coming up in the second half hour, we're going to be helping someone who is looking for someone for their special loved ones. So don't go anywhere. We got lots to show you here from Watanabe Floral. Thank you so much, Michelle. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Same back to you, ladies in the studio. Wow. So cute. What a nice gesture he does. That is. And if you guys see him out in the town, make sure you take a picture. We'd love to get those up on air too. Mm -hmm. Oh, fun. Sweet. All right, come